All right, folks, last installment in the uh, DIY 45 ACP shot shell uh, series. So we've got our formed brass primed now. Uh, I went and annealed the, uh, the case necks. You can see some of the annealing color on there. Um, it'll make it easier to, to roll the crimp on these. The crimp is just being rolled with a 45 ACP uh, seating die. Um, you don't need a whole lot of crimp. We're going to be using little cardboard discs here uh, that were cut out with nothing more than a sharpened 44 Magnum case, unsized. You just take your, uh, your chamfer and deburr tool, like so. Just run it through there. Like that, and then I like to uh, do the outside as well, give you a little bit sharper edge. For that, and we're going to throw, what do we have here? I don't know if the camera can see it from that angle. Let's scoot it over here. I'm going to throw just five and a half grains of, that's when Winchester 231. All right, so our brass funnel powder. And then I like to just tap the case a little bit, uh, even out the powder at the bottom. What that'll do for us is when it comes time to actually seat the, uh, the powder wad, it'll seat flat as opposed to at an angle. And it just helps us get the, uh, the shot in there a little bit more evenly. And we can fit a little bit more shot in there as well. So let's that even out. And just taking one of these little cards, sliding it down through the neck. And you can go in sideways. And as soon as you get in there, I'm just using a, a Delrin punch. To then just work it all the way down, get it nice and even. And hey, would you look at that for the first time, because I've already loaded 10 of these things, my powder actually jumped back out above. Let's see if you can see that there. I'm just going to need a light, my light. The powder actually jumped out above the wad. That's not good. All right, so let's fix that. Jump that out. Get my little pick dealy here. Get the wad. Oops, and I just spilled powder everywhere. Well, these things happen. All right, so we'll get the rest of the powder out. See what we got left. We can salvage here. And now I'm down to about four grains. 4.14 grains or so. That's not going to do. That will definitely, it'll work. It'll it'll fire the, uh, the round, but you won't be able to cycle the action on a 1911 reliably. In fact, most sources that I've consulted suggested that you need about uh, six to 6.2 grains of 231. However, I'm running with a slightly lighter recoil spring, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Plus 5.5 five is a safe load for even a 160 grain projectile, and we're not even shooting a 160 grain projectile. Plus our pressures will be lower. We're not engaging the rifling in the barrel. We're just uh, basically sending a column of shot out. And I went a tad over, so let's scoop some of that back out. And we're at 5.56. Five, Get a little bit more of that out. As close as we can. Alright. 5.54. Five, five, Tenths of a grain matter with pistols. Ah, the phone's ringing. I'm going to ignore that. Alright, so. Let's finish pulling the wad card out. Get that out of there. That looks good. Dump our powder back in. Alrighty. And the wad card will go back in. Just to level out the powder here. And we'll just try with a slightly gentle push. It's just the um, 
the seal between the and it did it again. Interesting. That's the first time I've had this happen. And these are the same wads that I've been using the whole time through. Just about all the back out. Yeah, 5.4 grains. And that should be the last one right there. Yep, got all our powder back out. Okay. One last try. And this is a learn as you go process anyway. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to take a small utility knife. I'm just going to poke a little hole in the center of the wad here. So that any air pressure that builds up underneath can be relieved without shooting powder outside. grains, or 5.5 uh, grains, and we'll go down nice and easy. Yeah, a couple little flakes made it out, but that I'm not going to worry about. Half the charge popping back out, not good. Three or four flakes, no big deal. Okay, so we do that. Next thing we're going to do, we measure out the shot. Originally I was going to run about 90 grains of shot. I decided to bump that up. Uh, I made a little scoop out of a piece of 38 Super Brass and a, a piece of, I think this is 14 gauge uh, copper wire, soldered on. Nothing special. Go into a little bucket of shot here. Yeah, I'm not filling it up, so a couple of scoops worth. All right, that's good. So that's going to give us about 123 grains of shot. And the nice thing about number eight shot is that roughly, roughly for you nitpickers, I'm saying roughly on purpose, um, one pellet of number eight shot works out to about a grain, about a grain. Not exactly a grain, they're not a grain a piece. It's about a grain. So, again, back to the handy dandy funnel. Focus there. And we'll pour our shot in slowly, otherwise, it'll bridge up at the mouth of the funnel. It won't go in. Alright, so that's, that's all we need there. And you can see that there's shot in there. I hope. And we will take another cardboard wad. And this will be our top shot card. And just gently put that one in there. And we just need to get it just below the mouth of the case here. and it's going to be held in by our roll crimp. Again, just go back to the punch and just kind of gently work it in there. And by making it oversized like that, we give the crimp a little something extra to hold on to so we don't end up with a bunch of shot rolling around in our ammo box. All right. All right, so there's your top shot card. Now, we will go on and crimp this thing. Lube goo on the mouth of the case. And I just, you know, you can, you can apply it pretty much any way you want. I just squirt a little dab on there, kind of run a bead, and really it's along the top edge. 
hopefully the camera picks that up, but there's just some uh, lubricant on the top edge there of the case mouth. And into the shell holder we go. It said into the shell holder we go. There we are. And we'll just run it on up into the die. And that's that. It's a little gooey. Not a big deal. And I think that'll do. And there you go. There's your finished 45 ACP shot shell. You can just wipe the goo off. Take her out and shoot her.